what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Gather around, boys and girls. If you've never seen one before, I want to show you what a simp looks like. This is Kenyatta Bellamy. He's 50 years old. He left the county jail last Tuesday after a year inside for failing to appear in court on a DUI manslaughter charge. Once he got out, he discovered that his girlfriend had moved another man inside of his home in Davenport while he was incarcerated. He said he initially tried to calm himself by visiting his mom in Miami, but his anger increased when he couldn't take a bus due to the COVID-19 virus. On Friday, just three days after his release, he confessed to officers that he used a hammer and a knife to kill the victims. Then he set the bedroom on fire. Now, before some of you start going in and talking about how bad this is, but you can understand. Let me lay something down for you. This dude is a menace to society. When he lived in New York, records show that he was arrested numerous times. He was arrested by NYPD between 1993 and 1993 and 2001 for robbery, assault, harassment, possession and sale of marijuana, larceny, weapons charges, and even manslaughter. The sheriff pointed out that this is the third event in which Kenyatta Bellamy caused someone's death. The woman leaves behind an eight-year-old boy who called this sucker daddy. So what's the charges? Okay, they got him on two first-degree murder charges, one felony attempted murder, one arson charge, and tampering with evidence. How many times I got to say this, family? When dudes behave this way, they have, this is a sign of low self-esteem. Some of these dudes act like they they got it all together, but anytime a dude becomes aggressive or violent with a woman who no longer wants to be with him, he catch her doing something with another dude, that is a dude that has low self-esteem because if that was really his woman, which we don't really know if they were still together or not because he was gone for a whole year. In most cases, you gone for a year, hell, you gone for a week, these women from the sky up. You cannot expect a woman to be waiting on your dumb ass after you get out of jail for a year. She's moved on. You go to jail, bro, you can forget it. And even if you're not, you don't go to jail. Half the time, you can forget it. And that's just how it is. It's greater men than us who have played this game of love and lost. You play the game, if you play any game, you can expect that that could be a loss. I know some of y'all say, well, you know, love ain't a game. That's the problem. People playing with people's heart. That, man, it's semantics, you know, call it what you want. But I call it a game because it's a crap shot. It's risky. It's 50% chance that it could work out, 50% chance it can't. And depending on how much you have in common, then that number can go up or down. That's the way I look at it. I just, I say give it all you got. And if it works out, fine. But if it don't, no, you lick your wounds and you move on. That's just the way it is. Now, that's some holes that's, that's some holes in this story because something is not adding up. They're saying that he got out of jail and he didn't kill them for three days. They say he got out of jail and he knew that the woman was having 
an affair. And he went to his mother's house. He wanted to go to his mother's house to cool off. Where was he at between the time that he got out of jail and the time he committed the murders, the three days? It, it, it's, a, it's a hole right there. You know, did he go hang out at his partner house? You know, was he, you know, did he sleep in the garage or something? And I don't know, man. It's just, it's some space. It's something, it's, it's some space needs to be filled right there. Fellas, if a woman, let's say if, if, if they were together, let's assume that they were together, like he said, if they were together and he came home, whether he was gone for a year or gone for an hour, came home, found a woman in bed with another dude. That's a nothing woman, right? That's a woman that's not really worthy, right? If she said that y'all were together, she said, if she led his man to believe that they were still in a committed relationship and she did what she did, moved another man in the house and, and he came in, he caught him having sex, bam. That means that he probably called her every name in the book. If she really is every name in the book and she's nothing like he thinks she is, why would you throw your life away over that type of woman? Why would you throw your life away over any woman? I'm not doing it. I just haven't met a woman, made a woman, who can make me do something like that. I'm just not built like that. I got an uncle. He built like that. He took his wife out, caught her in bed with another dude, pulled a shotgun out the closet, took her head off. The dude jumped out of the window. He tried to get at the dude, but the dude was gone. She was right there, man. Beautiful young girl too, man. He had went to work. He was a, I think he was a, like a, a, he wasn't a truck driver. He was, he was in construction. But he took off. And he came home early. Caught in bed with the dude. Creeped up the stairs. Went in that closet. Got that, um, he got that shotgun. And he took her head off. Like literally took her head off. Again, and then he, he did 10 years. He did 10 years on, I think he had like a 15 year sentence or something, but he did 10 years. But threw 10 years of his life away, killed the girl, uh, and for what? And I've spoken to him since then, and he d d regrets it all the time. Going back to that, making that, a permanent decision based off a temporary emotion. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. It ain't worth it. If you love yourself, if you really love yourself, and if you deserve to be loved, now let's put it like that. If you really deserve to be loved, you'd carry yourself accordingly. You wouldn't be out there reckless like that. Because for somebody like that, everybody like, yeah, well, he deserved it. He got exactly what he did. He deserved to be cheated on hell. He was crazy. He's a fucking maniac. So she, she did right by getting away from his ass. You see what I mean? So if you love yourself and you really feel that you're worthy of having that love come back to you from another person and you're really capable of loving another person the right way, then you wouldn't put yourself in that kind of position. I say it all the time. We don't hurt the people we love. We hurt the people we should love. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?